Today we're going to be checking out the Low Pro Hatchback 16L. everyone today we're going to be doing our first video on the low pro hatchback um, and this is on our new channel uh, GoPro products and basically on this channel what we're going to be doing is going over the products that we use um, on the set to film our um, videos over at GoPro so if you haven't checked out our YouTube channel GoPro go over there now check out some of the videos and hopefully uh, you'll subscribe and watch some more so again go over there now this is going to be uh, the first video that we make um, and again it's going to be on the low pro hatchback now I really like this backpack it fits everything I need it to fit um, it may be a little small for some people but they do make a 22 L which is a little bit bigger than this I'm not exactly sure how much bigger um, but uh, this one seems to be the right size for me, and um, so far it's worked out really well, so let's get into it now. Alright, now the first pocket up front here, uh, I only have two things in it right now, but I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and I have my GoPro stickers. If you don't know how to get these, I might do a video on this. Um, you get these from GoPro, so I could possibly do a video on this in the future. Um, and also in here I have these buckles. Uh, which go on the front of your um, bag if you want these on. I didn't want them on, so I just put them in here to keep them handy in case I ever need them. Also, um, you can get you can fit an iPad in here or any sort of tablet, so this is also a good pocket to do that. Next, on either side, uh, over on this side, we have my tripod. This is a Targus tripod. Uh, I might do a video on this as well, uh, so there will be plenty of videos to come. I might mention a few other things throughout the video, but this is one of the things that uh, is a pretty nifty tripod to have for um, a GoPro. So this pocket on the side here is meant for a water bottle, or they also made them nice and tall so that you can fit a tripod in there like this one. And it, that just fits in there like that. And on the other side, right now, I just have my uh, GoPro handle and made maybe do a video on this one as well. And then the next pocket to check out would be this top one. This top pocket is pretty easy to open up, just like a normal backpack, and you have this little compartment in here. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see that. The lighting's not that great. Um, but in this compartment, there's this little pocket back here, which I use to so store some stuff, uh, such as my tethers that I use. I just made these out of some paracord. Uh, I have, right here, I have the frame mount from the Blade 350QX and that is a quadcopter and I might be I'll definitely be doing a video on that so stick around for that someday uh, also in here I've got some other small stuff uh, I have this little magnet mount I might do a video on this too uh, this is a um, little mount that you just put your GoPro on the tripod mount and stick it on here and this will stick to anything metal. And I, basically I just have a ton of other small stuff in here, some adhesive mounts and other things like that. Now in this pocket here, um, on the bottom I just have this uh, head strap mount which comes in handy. Uh, I also have the chesty. This is one of my uh, more used products. And also in here, this is a more used product as well, I have the suction cup mount in these little pockets in here. Um, so there you go, You can hopefully you can see those. Uh, and these are some little mesh pockets, and I have the suction cup mount with a short arm on it right now. And in the other um, pocket right here, I have the uh, longer arm for that, so that works out pretty well. One more pocket on the back here, and that's right here, and to open this up, just a little zipper that goes all the way around, and then this pulls down. And right in the door, if well, you can't really see that that well, but right here is a little SD card holder. This is nice to have. Uh, and in here, I've done a little modification that's uh, much different from any other uh kind of backpack like this on the market. So what I did is I was able to um, make this 
and this works out much better than what the factory sends you with. Now, you're originally sent a piece like this, which holds all your camera gear. This was good, but not as good as I could do. So I decided to make my own insert here, and to do that, all I did was use some foam. And this isn't just any foam, this is Pelican foam. Uh, you may recognize this from a Pelican case, and that's where I got it from. I got this from my old Pelican case, and it holds all of my uh, GoPro gear in here, like the cables, the camera itself, the back doors, all that stuff. So here's a look at it. Uh, I might do a video on at where everything is later, probably not today, but in here we've got all of my stuff, and this is really the biggest selling point for me was this little back hatch area where I could put the foam uh, for my Pelican case. And also remember that you don't have to do this. This just worked out better for me. You can also keep this piece right here, which works pretty well. Now there's really one last pocket on here, and that's this one. And what this does is you open this up, and inside here is a waterproofer. Well, not a waterproofer, but... Uh, this is just like a rain cover for your backpack, and I'm going to put this on. Uh, to do that, basically just turn the bag over and then just stretch it on like you would um, any sort of mattress cover or something like that. Alright, and now your bag is uh, protected from the rain so that you won't get all your gear wet. And also, this is nice. I think I'm going to use this if I'm on the beach. Uh, I'll be able to uh, set put this over and then set it down so that it won't get all dirty and I can still push these out of the way and access the back. Okay, so if you haven't already been able to tell, I really do like this backpack. It's made from a nice durable material that's not really gonna break down over time. Um, I like these side pockets. This material's nice, stretches um, to fit any size container or uh, tripod that you need it to, well, small tripod that you need it to. Um, this back pocket here is really convenient. Uh, also, this is nice to have, even though I replaced it out. It's nice, um, I still have to fold these back down, but it's nice just to have this um, in case you ever need it. Uh, so this is, again, a nice thing to have. You might use this when you first get it. I already had my Pelican foam, so I did that right away. I haven't used this yet, um, but... That's pretty much it. It also has these buckles here, and as I said in the beginning of the video, I store in that very front pocket, I store these straps to go uh, down here, and I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but I have, this is where you put those straps on, and that works out pretty well. Uh, overall, again, it's very nice, like this a lot, and you decide whether you're going to buy it or not, uh, but for me, it's a no-brainer.